Hello and welcome to the Quick and Dirty Show with Nat and Marks. The place to be for cooking tips, weight loss strategies, and mouth-watering inspiration. Now, today in recognition of National Garlic Day, which is coming up on April 19th, today's show is about garlic and the the guy the in-house <laughs> chef over here who is um, who is all about garlic, he is going to walk you through some really cool tips and techniques and all of that stuff. So take it away, monsieur. Hello. Hi. Do you remember when you first had garlic? No. Hmm. So I remember. At all. I mean, we had, I'm sure that at the grocery store we had, you know, dried garlic and the barber's envelopes of that, you know, kind of dried stuff. But... I remember the first time that we had real fresh garlic and we were living in Fredericton at the time and and it was just kind of chopped up with some oil or butter and with some noodles and I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. It's been amazing. Uh, this, this journey with garlic has been so great because you know it, it's it's become such a huge part of our mm. diet. We have it you know literally all the time in various forms and I think that's one of the things that I love so much about it is that it is so versatile and you can do so much with it even the people that maybe are a little sensitive to it that don't want a whole lot of it it doesn't take much to add a whole you know punch a punch of flavor so yeah um, I I can't say enough about it and uh, I think that you know putting it in salads and sauces and soups and roasted vegetables and all that kind of stuff it just it puts this whole other dimension and spin on food absolutely so tell me though because i am not a kitchen girl kitchen is not my happy place <laughs> at all so I'm going to ask Marks a few questions because I am completely unknown to, like if I went to the grocery store and I was going to buy, um, like a, a, I don't even know what that's called. Is it a bulb? Bulb. A, a bulb, a bulb of garlic. Like what do you even look for when, you, when you're buying it? Do you look for anything in particular? Yeah, definitely. So, oh. oh, don't drop it on the floor. But we have, um, you know, this is, this is pretty solid. It's pretty firm. That's what you want. Anything that's kind of soft and, and uh, mushy, pass on it. Um, you know, the time of year is, is, is also uh, part of the equation as well. You know, fall, when this is uh, kind of just at its, at its glory, that's the best time. So a lot of this stuff has been sitting in a, in a, in a, in a mm. cold storage for a while, but it's still in really decent shape. And uh, so, yeah, so that's what I look for. Good, almost, uh, you can get the stuff that has some kind of purple veins through it, which is, is nice stuff as well. But uh, for the most part, I'm just looking for stuff that's that's good and, and, and solid and, you know, sounds sounds good. Okay, so I need, to, I need to get a cutting board because when I first met this guy and, um, and he started cooking and I was hanging out in the kitchen watching and drinking wine, um, the way he chopped garlic and like opened up a clove to me, I had never seen that before. <laughs> so, all right, do your, <laughs> I really? know, really, wow. I know. So do that. So that's a, well here, let's start. So, so after we've selected it, um, I think it's, it's important to, to know because people, if you, if you don't know, a bulb of garlic is made up of several cloves and I, had a friend at one point that uh, her dad was making a recipe and got clove mixed up with, uh, sorry, clove mixed up with bulb. Oh no. And put in three bulbs of garlic. True, true story. And it was, you know, obviously somewhat overpowering. So, no clove, <laughs> bulb. So, after after you, you can kind of get your fingers in there and you, you break out, that's a, that's a clove of garlic. Put the check this. Put the uh, the sharp edge of the knife always away from you, and you can just it just breaks the skin, and then what happens after that is the it's it's uh, peeled. So there's there are so many ways you can get good fellas, uh, Paulie, Paulie. 
from Goodfellas. You can <laughs> you can get really actually Polly did it with a with a uh, with a razor blade, but you can get really really fancy with it. <clears throat> the other thing that you can do, if I'm in a hurry, if I'm if I'm just kind of chopping something up, course for a um, for a stir fry, I'll just dice it up like that. Or if I'm putting it in, you know, uh, a, a pasta dish, something 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 quick and dirty. But it's also important to to play around with it. You can actually take that that whole clove, not bulb, but clove. You could put a whole whole clove. Uh, but when when we're uh, doing pan roasting, pan roasting vegetables. So I'll I'll take a, a cast iron pan, get it singing hot, and uh, fire in. You know what we could do? Uh, Brussels sprouts are probably our favorite, mm -hmm. and olive oil, and get that good and hot, and uh, put in whole cloves of, of of garlic, and then. After it starts to caramelize on the outside, both the garlic and the um, Brussels sprouts, put it in a preheated oven and bake it, finish it off uh, for you know another 45 minutes. Um, and it just will we'll, uh, cook it through. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Sure. So because so garlic is in so many of the recipes that you make, yes. like every like every day you would for sure you cook with garlic. Yep. So the correct me if I'm wrong, but the probably the technique that you use the most is just is sauteing. Yeah, correct. Probably like olive oil, or, yeah, crank and hot pot yep. or pan or whatever, yep. put it in. So when someone is sauteing. The garlic, like how many for how many minutes would it would it does it typically take? Like I think it's in, for it to for it to get all the delicious flavors and all uh, of that. You don't want to keep keep your eye on it, um, not not brown it, not not burn it for God's sakes. But you know, um, get it kind of nice and and uh, soft. Translucent is kind of the key word until it starts to kind of soften up. And you know, to 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 go back to the Goodfellas uh, uh, movie when when he. Uh, is is um, uh, using a razor blade and gets yeah. it so thin. He, Joe um, Pesci, Pesci says uh, says you know that Pauly was slicing them so thin that it actually liquefied when it hit the pan with a little bit of uh, oil. So um, yeah, I mean lower heat is probably the safest way if you're if you're not if you're just kind of dipping your foot into the into the whole thing of things um yeah. into the whole garlic water into the whole garlic water <laughs> go gentle with your with your heat because it is easy to to uh, burn it and then you kind of you, then you lose a, a lot of that beautiful flavor okay so one more thing ah. that i want to that i want you to not me to talk about you to talk about of course um black garlic again black garlic i had never seen it until it was a few years ago do you remember we, when that we saw it at the market with francine yeah. Right? Um, and you can eat this black garlic, like literally take it and spread it on bread and oh. eat it, which is how we did it when yeah. we first when we yeah. first got it. Remember when, when I brought it home? Yeah. So I bought a bunch of fresh garlic. Uh, COVID had just hit. And uh, I saw it at this little roadside stand that they had some fresh garlic. So I took a couple of bags little paper bags it. of it and uh, brought it home and realized when I, I pulled it out what I was expecting was that but yeah what I what I got was that yeah. and I actually called the lady Francine at the market that I bought it from and I said I, I think there's there's a problem because the garlic that I bought is it's all it's almost like a, a it's almost kind of burnt. And she says, oh goodness, I gave you the wrong wrong bag. It's actually more expensive. Oh, well, she said it's black garlic. Well, no kidding. Um, I had never heard of it. I had never seen it, but um, I knew that it, that it wasn't, that it wasn't off. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it, it wasn't burnt, but it, yet it wasn't baked. And um, it's, uh, it's the texture of like, black licorice or mm -hmm. licorice mm -hmm. but it has almost like a balsamic 
taste to it. It's beautiful. So good. So we use that in, yeah, salad dressings, uh, stir fries. Um, it goes really well with with uh, pork. It goes really well with to well, chicken tofu. You wouldn't be able to find that in the grocery store, though, would you? No, no, no. So it's more you of can, like a market kind of local yep. someone. You can yeah. you can make it. You can you can buy mm. a, a a black garlic cooker. Um, and friends of ours have actually done mm. it because there there is a bit of a hack that you can use a a, a rice cooker for it, but it takes about a month. Month. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what else you got? Anything? No, you know, I, I um just a a couple of tools and and things that I use again. Quick little little dice is is probably my my go to. <clears throat> However, these little micro planes are are fantastic because when you're when you're using one of these and you carefully uh, grate it on a micro plane, what it does is it almost liquefies mm. it uh, on the spot, and that in a um, in a soup or in a uh, in a pasta sauce is just it's it's beautiful. Um, the other thing too, with a, a bit of a spoiler alert, but in the uh, Caesar salad yes. dressing yes. recipe, that's how I start that. Mm -hmm. um, and then that goes into the bottom of the bowl, bunch of salt, and then it just, cause what, what you're really after is is kind of liquefying that, mm -hmm. that garlic. It just kind of totally breaks apart and that's when the magic happens. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right, so there you have it. Um, in recognition of National Garlic Day, which is April 19th. Um, try, if you don't use garlic typically in your in your everyday cooking to bring out the flavors and give it a, give it a go. Give it a go and, uh, and see how you make out. Excellent. Um, now, if you haven't already, head over to natmarks.ca and make sure that you're signed up for the free video series. And in that free video series, I talk about some the three heavy hitting um, weight loss behaviors. So make sure that you're signed up for that. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, why settle for average when greatness is within your reach?